think we're hell. And then she took a spoon. Yeah. No! There's a lesson there. Do you can't think of what it might be? Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in to day three of Vlogmas. So I'm having a lot of technical issues and if this video gets posted today, it will be a miracle. But I'm here and this is me trying my best. So um, before we get started, have you wrapped your present for the day? I went ahead and wrapped my present for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this is just your motivation to go get started so you won't have to do too much on Christmas Eve. All right, so in this video, you'll see a little bit of my evening routine with the kids. This is us hanging out after a long day, getting ready for the weekend. You'll see that I am heating up some leftovers for dinner, and then I'm going to serve this to the kids. My son asked me a really funny question, which was, what was the worst toilet story I ever heard? And then she took a spoon. Here I'm trying to get the dishes done. I heard a tip on a podcast which was get your dishes done before you send the kids to bed. If you're anything like me, once the kids go to bed, there's a very small chance that you're actually gonna come back. So use that to your advantage and get the dishes done. I'm not perfect with this, but it does help on the nights where I can. Be a superhero. <laughs> It is 8 16 and the girls are in the bed. The boys are supposed to be in the bed too. But what happened, is Ecord? We made a compromise that we can stay up late as long as we don't wait as if we don't disturb mom. Yes. We are going to watch a movie. I told the kids they could stay up late. I think we're gonna watch Abominable. My mom-in-law said somebody was talking to her about it and that it's supposed to be really good. Have you guys watched it? We're gonna watch it and I think it's on YouTube for like four bucks or something. We got our Christmas stocking situation. Our Christmas tree was so beautiful this weekend. And then what happened is Igor and Treveze? The babies messed it up. Let's give them the eye. It kind of still looks good with the snow and the ornaments. Like at least 70% of the Christmas ornaments are gone. They're gone. I took them down, or they took them down and I was just like, go ahead and give them to me and I collected them. Mommy, I'm hanging them back up. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to hang them up. I just, I don't have the energy to fight. So while the boys are doing this, I feel like if I want to be successful with this vlogmas thing, I need a plan. Um, I didn't want the lack of a plan to stop me from trying, but um, I need a plan, okay? Because I tried to vlog all day and wouldn't you know, I deleted like half of my footage. It was good footage, girl. Deleted half of it. So I'm like, oh, scrambling. So this is not the video that I intended to make. So I need to come up with a plan for like, what do I do when this kind of stuff pops up? And then just in general, like what do I want my vlogmas to feel like? Narrowing down on the mood, the vibe, the feeling I want will help me know which content will be the most appropriate for my channel. I will check back in with you guys in a little bit to kind of let you know what I'm thinking about with my list. So I'll, I'll check back in with you guys. So while we were watching the movie, I decided to document about the feeling that I wanted to create during this vlogmas. I decided to take inspiration from one of my favorite influencers. Her name is Maddie James. And she says that the mood for her platform is everyday magic. I love this because I value authenticity. I want you to be able to watch my channel and be like, wow, her life really does look like my life. So that's the everyday part, a commitment to authenticity. Then for the magic part, I really wanna be intentional about really appreciating the little everyday moments of my life and just really soaking those moments in. 
In addition, I want to create magic by being intentional, intentionally creating memories with my family, intentionally taking care of myself, intentionally just getting off the craziness of life to appreciate and create the life that I want. Do you think other kids should watch this movie? Yes. Why? Because it's interesting and funny. Interesting and funny. Izzy, where do you think other kids should watch this movie? Yes, because it's funny a little. What was your favorite part? The, the guy when he was just like, just scrambling around. What was, why was he scrambling around? Because he was trying to get to that place. Oh, when he was shouting. He was like, ah! <laughs> Crazy. What do you think the lesson in that scene was? There's a lesson there. Do you can you think of what it might be? Um, don't give up as well. Even when you're scared, what should did you just go back into a corner or what? Or you go do it anyway and be scared. Does brave mean that you have to do something without fear? No. What do, you, what do you think brave means? Brave means doing something and having fear, but doing it anyway. So he definitely was brave and he was definitely scared, but he still did it. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Do you feel like there are times that you have to do something where you're scared, but you have to do it anyway? Yes, yeah, sometimes I feel like that. You notice him at the end though, wasn't he a lot braver? After facing his fears at the very end of the movie. Yeah. Okay. Like he wasn't scared anymore. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That wraps up Vlogmas Day 3. Hopefully I can get this posted. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4.